All right, let's go. On this screencast, I'm going to talk about the preferences, which you can find underneath this button. Am I clicking it? This window appears. Okay, first thing, show missing tiles. This will enable showing missing tiles, so not, not every Zoom level is um, available on every tile server. So when you check it, the missing tiles are going to be shown, but you don't really want to do that. Uh, next thing, blend zoom levels. So always when you have zooms, when you have transitions between different zoom levels, you want to blend them. Uh, you can uncheck it, so they will just be shown all the time, but this is like recommended for pretty much everything. And you can set a duration of uh, the blending. If there's not enough time for um, the blend animation, so let's say you get like 50 frames and you got fast zoom, where it's like just 10 frames time for the blend, then it's gonna set it. So it's gonna use it on 10 frames, right? Um, finalization simple rate. This is actually a bit complicated. So when you finalize your project, um, first thing that GLayers does is it looks it looks through your composition from frame to frame and um, it calculates which tiles would be needed. So when you set this to zero, it will actually do it on every frame. And if you put it to like three, it will do it on first frame, leave out three frames and do it on the next. Leave out three, do it on the next. So this will actually speed up um, your finalization. But when you get like super fast, scrolls and zooms you should probably uh, set it to zero to have a clean finalized map but this is okay for pretty much everything um the max level of lower zoom level search so in case there is not the right zoom level available on um, the server um, g layers will look on the lower zoom level to at least have some imagery of um yeah the view you've got so it will look in three zoom levels below, but this is like, according to quality, pretty good value. So you don't need to set it like to five because the quality would be pretty, pretty low. <clears throat> next layer, max tiles and comfort preview. Um, the preview mode, so when you scroll around and the map's not finalized, um, there's like maximum number of tiles to be displayed uh, to just, yeah keep your project fast and then um, perform well. Next thing, the tiles path is the path where the tiles are stored. Um, I need to point out that this is like the tiles are stored dynamically there. So they will get overwritten from time to time when they're like updated and stuff. Once your projects are done, you need to collect files to keep your projects as they are. So don't rely on that folder because there can be like different tiles downloaded all the time. Okay, next part of the settings is layer settings. So here you can actually um, set a standard uh, server profile for for each layer. So when you select one of these, you can see it. On the fourth, there's MapQuest, even if it's not existing. So if I Created, it's going to be created with the map quest map server profile. This is like set up here. Then you can purge image caches. So right now, all the tiles for our map are downloaded. So it, they don't need to be re-downloaded on the new finalization. If you want them to be re-downloaded, just purge the image cache. Um, and um, these two points is the same as when we change the server profile. So use 3D navigation point or a 2D point and the zoom slider and use the motion tile effect to extend tile borders in case of some gaps appear between the tiles and stuff. Next setting, internet settings. Geo layers can uh, connect to the tile servers via proxy servers. So this will always slow down everything but um when you're like your infrastructure has a proxy server you can uh, check it type in a host a port and if it's needed username and password 
next thing server settings that's pretty much the heart of, of the tile downloading okay how does it work here we got all of our server profiles you can rename it being Arial sounds good don't want to do that you can copy it copy of being Arial what does it do it adds the copy of being Arial at the end of the list and I can uh, change it right here and this would um, add a server profile and this would delete one so if I don't want that copy I delete it not there and I add one I add one call it yeah new server profile and there we go okay first of all you get some preset APIs for Bing Maps, MapQuest, OpenStreetMap map box statement design and we add this universal api so i take the universal one because we want to like add a whole new um, server profile first authentication key don't need it here um it's needed for stuff like big maps but uh, we don't need it right here but what we want to do is download tiles so we need to enable down tile downloading uh, next thing maximum zoom level 23 is like pretty pretty high um, Bing Maps has it on like a few cities and use A and stuff to that detail range but all in all 18 is like like pretty good and um, a lot of tile servers got zoom levels till 18 next thing tile download URI mask that's it so um i got a website right here from the forest which is a project by andy allen pretty cool and he's got some yeah some cool maps right here so let's say i take outdoors so come on open it up and then every like tile server um documentation you get always that stuff right here so this is like like the URL or the URI um, where to access the tiles. I just take this, copy it, go here, and paste it right there. So okay, first thing is the domain right here. So you can access it by A, B, or C. Actually, we want to access it on A, so that's pretty good for it. Um, next point is Z, X, and Y. Um, G layers has its own variables, so Z, X, and Y is not what is used. Um, therefore, here we got a list of all the variables. So the zoom level is actually my Z. So I mark it, select it right here, hit that button, and the geo layer variable is inserted right here. Next thing that we need the point x for x and py for y and this sorry this is my file extension and it was png. Sorry a bit fast right here. But what we don't need is tile style we don't need the tile culture uh, we could say like outdoors i copy that put it into tile style and now um put that variable in here uh would work also so what it does it writes the tile style which is set right here into that mask on download by the way, you can also use local tile directories. So I got, uh, yeah, like a pretty common directory right here. And um, yeah, you can simply use it by getting this path and uh, pasting it right here and inserting the variables that you already know. Next point is crossfade zoom levels, but I'm going to talk about it a bit later. Service provider text like well all, all kinds of maps got like need to be attributed so 
also our Thunder Forest stuff. And um, when we go to terms, terms and conditions, read through. There we go. This is a string that needs to be or needs to be visible every time we show the map. And um, yeah, just paste it right here. <clears throat> Next thing is the search. Um, this API, the universal API, uses MapQuest's nominating search engine. And um, yeah, you can define a search culture and um, a maximum search results to be displayed in the search tab right here. We can use this actually. If I hit apply, can I create? Well, I'm going to remove all of that and create a new layer right here. Um, swap the server profile to the new server profile. Hit apply. And there we go. This is now connected to the server, which is set up. There we go. To show you what Crossfade Zoom Load is, I got um, this prepared. Uh, the red frame actually is my comp. I just put Collapse Transformation on it so you see all the tiles that is in the comp. And what you can see on this animation, um, all the lower zoom levels are always visible. Right here, higher zoom levels get blended in. Um, but the lower ones are visible when you check it. So let's say I check it, hit apply, and um, reapply this server profile with the different settings and finalize it again. There we go. What you can see now is that the lower zoom levels are being blended out when the new one comes in. So I'm gonna run preview this. See that? Max zoom level. Max zoom level. So this is actually needed for for tiles with transparency in it. Um, I do not recommend it on normal tiles because when like any of the tiles in this zoom level is not available, then if it wouldn't be checked, you would see just the lower zoom level. Right here, if one tile is not there, you would see a black hole. One more thing about server profiles. Um, once you created a layer with a certain server profile, this profile is saved in the After Effects project. So when you change something here, this will not affect the layer that this server profile has. Um, to do that, if you did changes, you need to reassign the profile that you just changed. All right, that was the quick overview about the prefs. Um, hope it wasn't too complicated. Just try things out and have a great day.